Success with containers and Kubernetes is tied to internal users being able to do the job. Will that be IT admins, developers, or DevOps engineers? Portainer makes it easy to set up and configure a complete container service delivery engine for any of them. I'll be using the latest 2.10 Portainer Business Edition. Let's walk through different ways of how you can deploy to Kubernetes. Initially, you don't need to know the whole periodic table of DevOps. You can just use custom templates, ad hoc way of storing your deployment artifacts. You have that template and it could be reused by your team members. It has the Kubernetes manifest and all of your team members will be deployed in a consistent manner, the same way as you do. And here, let's try to do that. Let's pick up the namespace. Let's uh, come up with the application name. Hit that deploy button. Okay, it's deployed. Great. Next level, you can use Helm to deploy. We support all Helm charts, but uh, for this sample, we're going to use the Sonar cube from Bitnami. Same way, pick up the namespace, pick up the corresponding name, hit install button. In a matter of a few seconds, it's up. Cool. And if you are already that far in your journey, you might want to take the advanced approach of deploying through GitOps. I have my Kubernetes manifest stored in the Git repo. So let's create from the manifest, picking up the namespace, the name of the application, setting up the Git repo URL and the path to my Kubernetes manifest. We'll turn off the authentication since the repo is public. And last but not least, we'll enable the automatic updates, which will uh, be listening to our Git repo and changes in that. So upload uh, my changes directly into the Kubernetes deployment as I change the Git repo. Check. Cool. And also, I have a team set up in Portainer called R9S, and they are able to manage that specific environment. It has a few users in that team. Swan and Neil. So Kubernetes is insecure by default, and Portainer is enabling role-based success here to make it production ready. So only certified people can access your namespace. As we went through these three ways of deploying into Kubernetes, Portainer is really suitable to be that internal developer platform for different kinds of users. And everyone is gonna love this self-service container management system. And for now, for you to try out, we have a special offer of Portainer Business Edition free for workloads up to five nodes. Come and get it.